we have arrived in Plymouth, and that was a much better tender operation than yesterday. It was, it was. We're on day... What day are we on now? Uh, five. Day five, and we're in Plymouth. So uh, this is the start of the day. We've had breakfast, we've come over on the tender boat. I've met the town crier already, mm-hmm. and they got the guys out playing instruments, didn't they? The orchestra oh, yeah. was playing. We were, we were drummed into town. <laughs> They'll probably drum us out of town <laughs> in a bit. <laughs> they give you a map. You know I like my maps. Um, and we are going to try and navigate Plymouth now. I've noticed, yeah. you know what, there's the, the south um, west coast path. We could do a bit of that. We might walk a bit of that. We could do that, yeah. There's Plymouth Hoe as well. There's just the town centre. We'll show you what there is in Plymouth perhaps give you some hints and tips if you're coming to Plymouth for the day, whether that be like on a day trip or off a cruise. At the moment, our hint would be make a plan because we haven't got one. We are just winging it today. <laughs> so let's see what happens. <laughs> is open from May to September and they're just cleaning it at the moment but I have to say from what I've seen so far I think Plymouth is really pretty I really like it so far and we're here on a murky grey day but it's really nice there's some lovely places as well where you can get a coffee from and sit and watch the sea So this is the hoe on a foggy day. No, not Lisa. Plymouth hoe. So we've come into the city centre now and it's not all pretty in Plymouth. Now we've got a abandoned council building there. It looks like it's being pulled down. And we're about to go into the shopping area and see what that's like. It doesn't look particularly pretty though. There is a fair though. There's a fair. This was Plymouth in 1958. Don't think it's changed much. It's just got a bit grubbier. Uh, trying to do some desperately needed renovations to the uh, city centre. So we have found a newer looking shopping centre, Drake's Circus. Yeah, that shopping centre's got your big brand stores in it, hasn't it? Yeah, yeah. So there are some nice bits as well. We're going to head back towards the old town. This is Priston House, or Priston House, and it's the oldest surviving merchant house in Plymouth, dating back from 1498. It's a very old house. Set just behind the church. For any fans of Plymouth Gin, here's the Blackfriars Distillery, where you can do tours. This old bit of Plymouth is very nice. Lisa just said this is not a flattering angle. <laughs> Sorry about that. But we've just been to uh, The Box, which is an art gallery, and, well, it's got a bit of everything mm-hmm. in it, hasn't it? Yeah, yeah. Talk it, us through what we've seen. Well, first of all, it was packed, full of kids, because it's Easter holidays here in Plymouth, but um, other than that, <laughs> there, there's a lot in there. There's a big woolly mammoth. There's a little bit of artwork. There's some films. There's history of Plymouth, of the the sea, of the navy. Yeah. Um, it's, a, it's a combination yeah. of a lot of things. There's a natural history element to it. There's a 
historical and social element to it, with the, looking at the fishing industry, with yeah. colonisation, plastics in the ocean. But we're going to head back to the Barbican area now, the old, um, the old centre, uh, just before we get back to our tender and go back to the ship. Yeah, because it's formal night tonight again, and yeah. I've, got, I've got to dress up yeah. again. But we would recommend, <laughs> if you come to Plymouth, the box. Oh, yeah. Free admission. Again, yeah. price we can afford. Yeah. You could spend, how long would you say you could spend there? But you, you could spend at least three hours in. There was a really oh, interesting yeah. film yeah. Being, being shown in there, which was 51 50. minutes long. And I could have watched that quite easily, yeah. but we don't have time. Yeah. So whistle stop tour again. Come on. So tonight is formal night. Yeah, it's formal night, not fancy dress oh. night. I took his dressing up night. So I've just come dressed as a steampunk professor. Don't you think that'll wash? Well, OK, then. We'll see. We'll see, we'll see. Yeah, it's another formal night tonight. There are two formal nights on our cruise, aren't there? Yep. I didn't want to wear black tie two, no. two formal nights in a row. No, Let's no, mix no. it up a bit. <laughs> no, so we're going to go out and we're going to see how this compares to the last one, if it's any different, what the food's like. Um, after a day in drizzly Plymouth, yep. it'll be nice to have a few cocktails, mm. um, have a few more coffee liqueurs. I'm finding the coffee liqueurs on here very nice. Yep. Actually, all the drinks on Ambassador, I have to say, have been really good, really well made, well, well presented. Yep. And if you're paying as you go, reasonably priced too, I think. Right, come on then. Okay, let's go. Let's go. Let's do it. I really want to run amok. Let's wriggle. Let's jiggle. Really make the raptors rock. Be mighty. Be flighty. Come and melt the bottles on me flame proof mighty. Let's do it. Let's do it tonight. Let's do it. And uh, I'm here on the lovely Am Ambassador Ambition here, and uh, I bumped into these two lovely people. I was only here for the karaoke on this ship, and uh, to be quite honest, I've got to tell you people, if you do like your karaoke, this is the ship for you. Uh, come along, join Ambassador, and you'll have a, you'll have a great cruise. What's, yeah, your, what's, what's your, your channel? channel? Say what your channel oh, is. yeah, my channel is Singing Buddha Karaoke. Lisa's so bored with my company tonight, she's playing Candy Crush. <laughs> So here we are in the reception of uh, Ambassador Ambition, and that's our day five. Mm, yeah, the end of formal night. Mm. Yeah, the end of our day in Plymouth, and we've had a good day in Plymouth. Uh, we've been chatting to loads of people today, mm, and I have yes. to say that most people have said to, well, everybody actually has said they're having a great time on Ambassador Cruises and mm. that they would definitely book again. The comedian was really good, Pauline Daniels. No was, relation. No relation. <laughs> she was really funny, really enjoyed her. Um, great. I mean, we've seen a lot of comedians on cruises, but... She was fabulous. And again, we had a great food. Um, the baked Alaska parade in the restaurant was fabulous. Yeah, if you want your traditional cruising, Ambition and Ambassador mm. is, is a good way to go. It is very traditional, isn't it? It took us back to 2016 when we started yeah, cruising. Yeah, yeah. And, um, and just before the show tonight, they got all the staff onto the... Well, not all the staff, but a lot of the staff onto the stage. Um, it, it was just... It seems just a really friendly, welcoming atmosphere. I've spoken to some of the staff. They seem very happy. Um, it's just been a really, really lovely, friendly cruise. Um, the friendliest cruise I've been on, and I've, this is probably, what is this, our 12th cruise now? 
probably a bit more than that. So if you've enjoyed today's episode, please consider subscribing. We're all about giving you hints and tips to make your holiday run smoothly. Unlike most of ours. So, yeah, <laughs> thanks yeah. a lot for watching. Yeah. It's much appreciated. It is. And like Lisa said, liking and subscribing is the way to go. Thanks for watching. See you soon. See you next time. Bye, yeah.